Okay, my last tip for you is about tone. How do you get a good tone? You know, you don't need an expensive guitar to get a good tone. You can get a good tone with these, with your hands, okay? It's how you play the instrument uh, that makes it sound good or bad. You can give a person uh, with not very good technique a brilliant guitar and they can still make it sound like a cheap pile of junk. And you can give a good player a junky old guitar and they can make it sound great. So it's up to you. Um, one of the best things I know is to record yourself and listen. Have a listen to how you really sound, right? Not everybody uh, who plays the guitar are aware of how they sound. For me, it's my whole world. Uh, I've got to be able to get a sound that inspires me. So I try to get the sound out of the instrument. Now, a lot of people play the guitar up here, all right? So. That, that is one sound, but then you've got, you've got a sound back here as well. So you can use the dynamics of the instrument to bring out different tones, right? Uh, and when you're playing songs where, say if you're a fingerstyle player like me and you want to play melodies, I want to do is have the bass sounding nice and tight with the, with the accompaniment laying the groove down then I want the melody to be like a vocal See that how the guitar is really speaking? That's because I'm really aware of it. I'm I'm doing that with my hands, and I'm making the guitar make that sound. So I've recorded myself. I've listened back. I've tried to fix all the problems with my own technique and my own sound, so I can be happy with what I'm doing and 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 make a sound that is nice to my ear. So be aware of your your tone. Work on your tone. Work on your time. Work on your arrangements and work on your tuning. Get in tune. As Chet used to say, tune up boys, it bothers me. <laughs>